good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new look at the upcoming MDT Vindication stage. Now, I feel like I have ran into a bit of snags when it comes to the new stage because I don't know what I'm going to do for MDT Live, and it kind of sucks because now Vindication has this sick AF new stage, and now MDT Live is going to kind of be without it. But today, guys, I'm going to showcase this stage a little bit, showcase the abilities of it, how I made it, how maybe you could make it yourself yourself, you know, how to, you know, innovate your stages for your pick beds and everything like that. So let's go ahead and dive into it, man. You guys know that we've kind of changed the look of the stage over the years. If I can, I'll try to plug in pictures of the stage over the years that we have used, you know, the Vindication stage and everything. Let me take a sat so I can get down in here and get a good look. But basically, I wanted something new and refreshing for these next few shows because I, I, I don't know. I just, it, I think the last time we looked at the arena, we were trying to figure out exactly how I wanted it to look. I finally got that figured out not too long ago. This has been built a little while, but I never made a video on it, and I think I want to say I showed off part of it somewhere. I think I put it on the community tab, and everybody wanted to see how the stage looked and everything like that in a video, so here that is, guys. So as you guys know, big black backdrop. Gotta have that. At least that's what I do. I don't have like a big... It kind of, you know, because if that wasn't there, you would see all the figures back there, and it would be this big old deal, but you get the big black trifold school project poster board. Throw that up in the background. That covers it up in a nice black black color. I will say I wish I had like one of these crowd backgrounds that I could like enlarge and have it wrap around the whole deal and that'll probably be something we address very soon in the future. However for now the black background has worked thus far. I've used it I think since the beginning maybe. I know I've used the smaller blue one here but you guys can see you have the trifold in the background then underneath that you have the blue version. Underneath that you have a blue poster board. That's like the thick kind. It's not like the floppy kind like I use for my you know my my mats on the floor. You get the thick poster board in the background there. That way when it seeps through, it's not just, you kind of break up. You kind of give it some nice depth. So up front you have your stage. You have your little levels here with the graphics and the panels. You have your Titan Tron. You have your poster board. Then you have your black background. So it's kind of like black and then blue and then black and you have this nice metallic blue down here. So from there you guys will see this stack right here. All this is is elite boxes stacked on top of each other. Need to move this lamp. So see here, if you go behind the scenes here, this is just some elite boxes. I stack those up. Tape them up in the front with the blue color. I know the blues don't match, but I don't really care. It doesn't really bother me. It kind of matches the blue of Vindication rather than the metallic or the like kind of darkish blue in the background, but I kind of like it. Kind of, again, gives it a little bit difference there. You have the green screen on the Titan Tron. This is just the raw play set, I think, from 2011 maybe, I think, or 2010. You know, it's got the John Cena graphic on there. We've had this a very long time. You just take the green poster board, slap it over there. That way you can chroma key it out and plug in the Superstars entrance there. I don't know how long I'll keep up with that. Thinking about switching it to the monitor set, up like a lot of other people have. I don't know just yet. We'll see about that. But you have your Elite Boxes here with the black and blue tape. Titan Tron right there. Just slap the green screen over it. You could just use cardboard. Like cut out a big sheet of cardboard or something like that and then slap green screen over it. But that goes into your editing software and stuff. That's not something you necessarily need. I know people that just put their iPad up and they'll play the entrance video on the iPad in the background which is an also awesome touch. That can work for picture pictures or video. If you want to show the Titan Tron while the guy's standing there with the music playing you could do that with the video or if you want to use the photo all you'd have to do is pause the Titan Tron on where it says their name and then take your pictures as it shows that part of the video as they come out so that's a couple different there's a couple different ways you could do that but moving on into the stage itself now I'm kind of worried because we did bring back a entrance ramp which we'll get into but you guys can see the elite champion Kenny Omega on the stage here so what this is the platform for the stage is actually two jacks real scale elimination chamber play sets uh, the things that went around the ring, I put one of I put them pretty much back to back. You guys can see where the chamber goes right here. Put those back to back, and then I took the newer style elimination chamber playset. You guys know with the uh, where is it at? Like with the doors like this, it's like the modern day one the, for the basic rings. This is one of the plexiglass windows for that. That is what this little entrance way right here is, and I kind of got custom with it, and I took pieces of that playset to add to this stage. So this piece right here is actually. So this piece right here is actually. Actually, you guys can see like this is one of those chamber pods and I took all the glass out of it bought some steel mesh put the steel mesh sleeves like right here over it duct taped it with blue duct tape to kind of give it like that nice blue color around the trim there put that on both sides and then added this black curtain on the back there and that just sits there like that so now the superstars can sit here like this and then they can come through the curtain and come out the middle of the entranceway like you guys saw so we take this put it in the middle and now not only do you 
you have that nice little entrance way in the middle there where the superstars come straight out of the curtain from the back. Now you can have a feature where they can jump off right here. You can jump off of this platform. You have these other little obstacles here. Now this just kind of gave me a good sense of symmetry. These right here are what this sat on. So this was in the corner of the of the Elimination Chamber playset like this and it connected to the basic ring. But I removed those and just kind of sat them up like this and they just kind of look like nice little stage pieces. I don't, I don't really know. I just kind of, it kind of looked like it made it uniform and fit together. I think it would be cool if there were some lights on it and it lit up as the super superstars came out i think that would be really sick or adding some lights up under it or even if it had like some graphics that could play on mini screens like if i could have mini screens here and here that would play graphics or play like little things or lights as the superstars came out with their titan tron and everything like that i think that would be really dope but i love the way those look on the sides there and again like i probably could you probably could mess around you could flip it like that and you know change it up a little bit but i like the superman it kind of looks like a superman logo for me and i like the way it looked so i, I went ahead and kept that on the front of the stage right here this is again part of that play set i think this is the outside railing so what this is to the real scale ring is what this is to the basic ring so it's like the steel slat there i just slid that in right there and it kind of like creates a front part of the stage so you don't have those harsh lines there it just kind of looks really clean in my opinion i like the way that came out and then getting into the ramp now this right here was kind of a hoe and i know you guys can probably you might be able to see it i don't know if you guys can see it but the tape is coming up originally this little entrance right here had this st same like steel looking tape or the silver tape however the tape started coming up and not sticking and it's not sticking now but i went to hobby lobby and i got some of this steel mesh stuff that you see down the middle right here and i taped it down to some insulation foam board just cut it to shape and then added the duct tape right there so the guys can come down i will say like guys coming down the ramp is pretty annoying i'm not gonna lie to you however they actually i i, I tweaked it and tweaked it and tweaked it like this is probably the fourth iteration of this ramp because guys kept falling on their face guys kept you know they wouldn't stay and i know how annoying it is to pick fed with a ramp unless you do the little video entrance where you hold their foot and they come down but you know we don't we don't really do that we usually do the step-by-step -step process so you gotta it is difficult once you get down here the steel mesh wasn't long enough so i just put the silver duct tape over the top right here and it works you know i'm not yeah you know, whatever you guys can see here this was this was stuck here but now this has uh, unstuck and now it has uh, you guys can see like the exposed tape there but I may go over some of this with blue tape I may go over the edges of the ramp with blue tape just because like it obviously looks really clean it looks like a actual ramp because of all the silver and the glare and it makes it look realistic however the tape doesn't stick very well and it's getting on my last nerve I do want to show you guys what this looks like with it all lit up so let me get the lights in place and everything but there's a shot right there I love the way this looks like that looks great again still working on the crowd background I, I gotta change it I don't like the way it fits the the I don't like the way it fits right here it also has like a gap back here and like it folds in on itself and when it folds in on itself knocks everything over makes me want to lose my damn mind but yeah I'm, I'm i'm digging the way it came out elite champion looking pretty dope on the stage i love the way the stage came out this is probably my favorite iteration of the vindication stage it has a really nice feel to it and it kind of gives it like some iconic I, I feel like it has some iconic pieces now i don't know if you guys ever felt a, felt about it that way before but i feel like this is more iconic like our pay-per-view stages have been iconic but the vindication and the md DT live stages have never really had that iconic feel to them so I feel like this has that more feel to it and the ability to jump off of there and like have cool moments and things like that makes it classic so let me get the lights and we'll see what it looks like all right guys here it is with the lighting on and I gotta say man it looks so much better with the lights on I know they're kind of getting in the way a little bit but yeah bro the saturation and the lighting and everything I love how it gives depth between the crowd and the stage and the superstar there honestly I would love to have more depth in the crowd but I still like the way this looks I, I love it I think the like distance for the ramp and the ring looks really nice you even get your small gap here in between the ramp and the ring kenny omega looks really sick on there yeah man i love it i think it looks great but that's what it looks like with the lighting i like it let me know down below guys what you guys think of the stage i tried to break it down the best i could the best thing about building a stage man is just take your time with it use some cardboard you know you don't have to be the best artist ever man just take your time with it use some tape and some paint and some cardboard you can make a lot of real cool things happen use play sets from other wwe figures use little bits of the ring or little place that's here just get creative with it play around with it and you can create some really awesome stuff but i like the way the i love the entrance and the little ability to jump off of there onto superstars and now i, I don't know it's just i, I love it I, I think it turned out great i would love to know what you guys think down below but that is gonna do it for today's video guys thank you so very much for watching but do not cross the line like the freaking awful tape down here look at this look at it look at it you see how it's coming up garbage and that 
proceeds to lift this up and then it's hard for guys to stand on the ramp. Don't cross the line like that terrible tape. Be like the blue tape. In a world full of silver tape, be the blue tape. <laughs>